Hey guys and welcome to a brand new Minecraft PSP update video. In this video we're going to be covering the changes made in version 0.5 pre-release 2. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So in version 0.5 pre-release 2, the first major change obviously is an internal change. It's now using the Stardust engine instead of the old Lamecraft engine, which has actually sped up the game quite a bit. This is without any sort of media engine acceleration, but it actually helps the game run a bit better. So as we go ahead and look around, and you go into an actual world, you're going to be noticing that your frame rate is going to be about the same as it was previously, 30 FPS. However, chunks are loading in at a much faster rate, and it looks a lot better. I also fixed the glitch where the sun and moon weren't rendering in for some reason as well, which is also pretty useful to have. Currently, the media engine has been disabled due to the fact that I'm basically transitioning ME code into ME lib, and it's going to be addressed in the version 0.5 pre-release 6 update, which is going to actually be changing a lot of the terrain system as well. So, since terrain and chunks go hand in hand, why not go ahead and do both at the same time? Furthermore, I fixed some more bugs, especially considering the uh, reconfigurable input system, which had quite a few bugs beforehand, but now it's actually working in the correct state. Furthermore, physics has been improved so that in single player, uh, you're not going to fall through the world or anything like that. It is still possible to go straight through a missing chunk or something like that, however it's a lot less likely that you're going to be able to do that, especially with chunks loading in much faster now too. Currently, Frustum Calling has been disabled, which will be probably re-enabled soon enough as soon as I figure out what the issue is exactly here uh, with the Frustum Calling model. Something in there isn't quite right, which is just uh, isn't really helpful. However, once I fix Frustum Calling, we're going to be able to go ahead and do a lot more inside of that. It will also raise frame rates from 30fps to 60fps, and will be a general performance boost as well. So in the next version, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking Stardust Engine's UI system, which is something that's been in the works for a little while now and is going to be coming out uh, early next week. I'll also be adding in a lot more UI elements as well. I also want to basically finish up the block data system and the block registries, including uh, adding things like items uh, alongside adding in the missing blocks that are uh, not currently in the game. I also want to put sounds uh, for block breaks into the game as well, which is going to be pretty useful, and it's going to add a little bit more immersion into the game. So, as you guys probably have seen with the new release schedule, uh, basically the way that things are going to be working is that there's going to be 8 pre-releases for version 0.5, and basically uh, what's going to be happening there is that every two pre-releases is going to be a rather significant change, whereas the initial pre-release uh, in between those are going to be a bit more minor changes. If you also didn't catch the version 0.5 pre-1 video, for example if you were uh, viewing specifically from Reddit, uh, basically what was that in version 0.5 pre-1 was a physics engine alongside game mode support. So you have your basic survival mode and you have your creative mode. So, thank you guys for watching, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.